So you have uh, a faulty contact uh, in the board, uh, likely, and um, and you have to find out where it is because it is somewhere in the board, and you're not sure it is a faulty contact. How to troubleshoot this thing? Hello, everybody! Welcome back. Uh, this is an episode about electronics, uh, even though. Here I have the lathe, the lathe that I'm making, and that has um, a problem because the motors that uh, makes the um, spindle to spin uh, just start and stop, start and stop, and because the control boards, the control board here that controls the motors, um, uh, just makes the motor to start and stop, start and stop, just touching the board a little bit. Uh, you see, uh, moving the board uh, a little bit, uh, the motor uh, starts and stop. I already checked the, 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 the connections uh, of the external cables and everything is okay. So uh, the subs, subs, suspect, the suspect uh, is on the board, in, inside the board. So let's troubleshoot this problem in a professional way. As an overview, uh, just moving uh, and deforming the board, uh, the problem shows up, and uh, this is typically caused by a faulting contact uh, somewhere in the board. The problem is where this faulty contact is. So the first thing to do is to have a look at the board. First off, remove the power, the screw, use a full mic magnetic screwdriver and uh, let's check uh, the board if we can see any um, problem with the solder or maybe something clearly broken this, those are uh, other filters that uh, this is board <laughs> is a little bit experimental and, um, and yeah it doesn't seem to have uh, any problem at first sight So let's sit put back and uh, look at circuit level. Put the screws on again because uh, this help, helps me um, testing the board. So far the visual inspection of the board haven't given any clue of the problem. So the next step is to follow the signal path and look where it stops. Power on again. To do this we need the schematic to um, understand where the signal goes and look for the uh, very various stages of the circuit uh, uh, to check the um, key points of where the signal should go. One important thing that I didn't show in the video uh, is to check uh, the power supply of the various operation amplifiers uh, just before to follow the path of the signal because that uh, is a really important point. If the power supply is okay while the problem is still there, uh, then it is reasonable to um, think that uh, could be a problem in the path of the signal. So here the signal comes from here where this is the potentiometer, the external potentiometer that controls the, the, the motor, which is this one that I've put in this box. Um, and this uh, uh, signal uh, enters here, so the first step is to check if the signal okay, if the signal um, comes here, and then uh, if the signal uh, reaches this point, which is after the first uh, operation amplifier, which is uh, configured as a uh, uh, voltage follower and um, and then uh, look uh, if the signal 
appears here at the, at the output of the error amplifier and, uh, and then uh, compare, check if the current feedback uh, is negative to avoid uh, the risk uh, to shoot down the signal in, in output and, um, and then the last stage here which is the comparator uh, with the uh, south south signal from here and uh, the signal that uh, comes from the um, error amplifier and of course uh, the south south waveform to look for it uh, if, uh, if it works correctly or if the problem lies here because here we have the other circuit that ger that generates the um, south south waveform uh, synchronized with the external uh, the external phase now the motors the motors is spinning uh, so <laughs> the problem seems to be disappeared but i'm pretty sure that moving a little bit the board uh, yep yeah, yep the boards the motor stops again okay let's check first let's check with the oscilloscope on the input of the potentiometer wait a moment uh, put the wage down here to let you see better tilting a little bit to the, the border oh yeah now you can see better the inside of the circuit the motor is stopped uh, again so the green wire should carry uh, the red wire should carry the positive voltage and um, and we see then uh, have a look at the green signal which is the signal of the potentiometer and, uh, and this is uh, uh, you can see yeah that's more and uh, check for the first uh, check for the first operation amplifier which is uh, here so the pin is in the number seven seven and uh, here I see the same signal uh, <coughs> So the signal here is okay. Let's check uh, another stage uh, at the output of this uh, of this uh, op, op amp to see if the current feedback uh, is okay. Is here we should have a negative voltage. Well, let's check um, the pin seven of the. I see six, which is this one. Yeah, the error amplifier, the error amplifier, this one. So let's check uh, the pin uh, one of the pin one is this one, and here we have. Ah, uh, oh shit! The pin one. pin one we have the negative negative voltage again which is correct because negative voltage means uh, called the full signal and this is the pin one when the motor stops uh, it goes it goes completely negative which is correct and when the I move them to start the motor touch the board to start the motor the mode the signal goes to a, a decent level to control the motor so it's fine this is correct so let's check uh, the uh, the signal from the south -tooth, south -tooth generator and we can see at the pin 6 uh, of this operation amplifier and here we go here we go the signal is perfect 
even when the motor is not running so the problem is not here so the signal reach is here focus the signal is here and uh, let's check if reaches the this point and uh, because clearly something is broken between this point and this point uh, and uh, so let's check if reaches R54 here and then on the other side of R54 and then to the pin 1 of this uh, the pin uh, sorry the pin 5 of this operational operation amplifier one uh, we see we saw the pin one uh, was correct uh, and now let's check uh, on the r54 r54 is this side uh, and uh, and and at r54 R54 we have negative voltage as in the pin 1 uh -huh. and then on the other side of R54 we have oh, the same signal so there's something that and uh, this is the pin 5 of the op pump eh? ha 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 the signal here is dead So, no signal here. So, something is broken between this pin and the trace here. Something is broken here. And at a closer look, uh, we see here we have uh, uh, the solder has attached to the pin but not to the pad. Now it's much better. And now the circuit is working like a charm. No problem. It's stable. And the motor can be adjusted. Uh, the motor can be adjusted uh, at a very f low speed with uh, a good stability. Okay, this is the output uh, of the air amplifier and here the comparator with the cell tooth signal and the uh, pulses that goes to the output. This is the correct signal you should see at the oscilloscope uh, when the motor is running, running correctly at the point uh, of the pin uh, of the operational to find one of the comparator the pin of the comparator this is the output uh, the pulses the pulses that goes to the triac the triac unit the power unit and this is the waveform on the south of waveform and the signal From the error amplifier well i hope you find interesting this video uh, if so thumbs up and uh, that's all folks thanks for watching see you next time bye